What's up guys, in today's video we're going to be creating the best military outfit. If you do enjoy this video then be sure to leave a like, and without any further ado let's jump straight into it. So starting things off we're going to be coming over to any clothing store on the map, and once you get to the clothing store you want to go to, then you just want to head straight inside. The first clothing item we're going to be getting is actually in the top section, so if you guys just walk over to the like, top section of the store, and then just press right on the d-pad to actually get into the menu for that and when the menu pops up we're going to be going down to the utility tops now that we're on the utility tops we want to scroll down until we get to the black battle vest and then you just want to select that after you guys have selected the black battle vest we're going to be backing out of that menu but now we're going to be going into the utility vest section remember guys this is all still in the tops menu i know it does seem a bit confusing with every like different menu or subsection but in the utility vests category we're going to be selecting the brown digital plate carrier and this is going to give this like cool look of like having some armor on and it also keeps the black battle vest underneath this so it gives off a very unique look that's us done for the top section of this outfit so now we're going to be moving on to the pants so in any clothing so just walk over to the pants area, press right on the d-pad and then you want to go down to the cargo pants. Once you're in the cargo pants category, you want to find the brown digital cargo and when you guys find that and select it, as you can see it will actually match our vest. I do believe that you could actually mix and match with these different like cargo pants and themes but this one looks probably the most realistic to me. Now moving on to the shoes, we're going to be pressing on the boots category and then scrolling down to the black harness boots. Personally I picked these because I think they just fit the best with the outfit but you guys can choose anything else if you want. We're now pretty much halfway done with this outfit, we just need to do a couple of more things. But first of all, we're going to be coming over to the accessories, and then going down to the gloves section. Now that we're in the gloves section, we're going to be scrolling all the way down to the black tacked gloves. The reason for choosing these gloves is because they just look a lot cleaner than the others, and I think they go really well with the outfit altogether. Now before we continue, just make sure that you save this outfit as it is now, as you don't want to lose any progress with this. Before we do continue with this next part of the video, to actually complete the outfit. First of all you want to go to the masks shop on the beach. Once you're there go to tactical and then scroll down in the tactical category until you find the black spec ops. This is going to be like a mask which will cover your character's face and it looks pretty cool but just make sure you just purchase that you don't need to actually equip it yet. After this you want to go back to a clothing store and then go to the hat section then go to helmet and then you want to go down in the helmets category down to the brown digital quad lens. This is going to give our outfit an even more like military look. Remember you don't have to actually equip this yet, I mean it won't really work anywhere. And the last thing what I want you guys to buy from the clothing store is actually in the glasses. You won't actually believe it but this outfit actually does use some glasses. Once you get to the glasses category, you want to scroll down until we get to the yellow guns. All this is going to be is just some yellow tinted glasses. Now you're probably thinking why the hell have we bought all this? Because essentially what we're going to be doing is actually combining all these things to make up like the helmet for the character. And trust me guys it looks really really cool. Now all we're going to be doing guys is heading down to the pier and once we get down to the pier we're going to be just equipping our black spec ops mask what we've just purchased once we've got that equipped we're going to find one of these little telescopes on the pier and then you want to stand where i stand so we're like in line with the telescope and all that we're going to be doing is just sprinting this in this direction and then when we're just about to pass the telescope we're going to press right on the d-pad and this is going to make us stop sprinting and now you don't want to move or anything like that but just hold the select menu to open up your interaction menu then scroll down to style and then go down to accessories. Once we're in the accessories, you want to go all the way down to the helmets and then you want to select the brown digital quad lens. Once you guys have got the brown digital quad lens on, we can back out the interaction menu and then run away from the telescope. And what this is going to do is going to glitch our spec ops mask underneath these quad lens helmets. It's a very old clothing glitch and I don't know why it's still in the game but it just works really well. So now that that's like glitched onto our outfit, all that we're going to be doing now is going back to any clothing store on the map or even go back to your apartment and then we're just going to be saving this outfit over the old one what we saved. This is just going to ensure that we don't lose any progress of this outfit. Once you guys have actually saved the outfit, we're going to be repeating this clothing glitch one more time just to get these glasses like showing up through the mask. So we're going to be coming back down to the pier and then just doing the exact same thing we've just done before. Once again we're going to go into style, then accessories, but instead of going into helmets this time we're going to be going onto the glasses tab and then selecting the yellow guns. After we do get the yellow guns up, 
then all that we have to do from here is just back out of our interaction menu and then step away from the telescope. What this is going to do essentially is just give us a nice little effect, almost like we've got like a visor going over our eyes and it definitely looks really cool with the quad lens like pulled down. But now the final step is to just save this outfit one more time just to make sure everything stays the same. So once again we're just going to go back to the clothing store or you could go to your apartment and then go to the wardrobe there and then we're just going to overwrite this other save what we've done for this character already and there you have it the military character that is going to be it for this video guys if you do like this outfit then be sure to leave a like on the video as it shows your support for the channel and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications so that you never miss a video we're on the road to 5,000 subscribers which is just unreal to me thank you guys for the support as always and finally thanks for watching